Good morning. How are you today? I hope you had a good sleep and you're ready for your lesson. We have a really long story today, so I want to get right into it. We're going to skip the safety rules this morning. We'll cover those later on. But I want to get into our story because it's kind of long today. Today is a story I'm going to read from the Bible because this one is a little bit short. And this is a really good story that's directly from the Bible. So I'm going to read most of it from the Bible from, for you today, okay? It's about a special kingdom and a king and two queens. And what's a good queen and a bad queen. So we'll see what happens. Are you ready? Open your ears. Open your eyes and pay attention. Zip it. Lock it. Put it in your pocket. You ready? Okay. Today's story happens in a place called Ethiopia. That's a big word. Can you say that? Ethiopia. Good job. Good job. The king in this story is King Ashesaurus. That sounds like a dinosaur, doesn't it? King Ashesaurus. There he is. While King Ashesaurus was sitting in the kingdom, one day he decided to have a great big party. And he said, I'm going to invite every king, every governor, everybody who's important. I'm going to have the biggest party that you ever saw. So he invited everybody over to his castle. And they had a great big party. He had cakes and fruit and meat and all sorts of yummy things to eat and he had silverware and cups and plates that were made out of gold and dancers and musicians and he showed everybody his beautiful house and all of his pretty pictures and canvases and um all of his pretty accessories that he had in his house and he just threw on the best party that you ever saw. And then after that, he threw another party for every single person in his whole kingdom to come to. So everybody got to go see King Ashesaurus's house and go to his party. Not one person was left out. Wasn't that really nice of him? Yeah, he invited every single person in his kingdom. All his servants, everybody got to go. That was a really big party. And while he was having his party, he asked his queen, Vasanti, to come. He said, Queen Vasanti, come to the party and meet all of the guests. They want to meet you and see you and say hello to you. And Queen Vasanti said, no. I'm not going to the party. I'm too busy. And he said, what? He said, no. I need you to come to this party. You're the queen. That's your job. You need to come to this party and do your job, Queen Vasanti. And she said, no, I'm not going to go to that party. I'm not going to go. She was very rude and disrespectful. So anyway, she didn't go to the party. And the party was over. And after the party, the king, Ashesaurus, said to his counselors, he says, what am I going to do about this queen? She did not do her job. It's the queen's job to listen to the king and to obey because the king is the boss. And she did not come to the party. She was rude to the guests. What am I supposed to do about this? The counselor said, you know, you're right. That was very bad. Now all of the women are going to think that's how you're supposed to act because the queen is supposed to put on a good example for everybody. But Queen Vasanti did not put on that good example for everybody. So I think that you should fire the queen and you should get a new queen.
you need a queen that's going to do her job. So King Visanti said, you're right. And he told queen, King Ashesaurus, I said, King Ashesaurus, the dinosaur king, said, you're right. Queen Visanti, you're fired. So he fired Queen Visanti and he said, put out a job advertisement. He says, I'm looking for a new queen. So everybody went out into the towns and they said, doo, 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 doo. guess what? The king is looking for a new queen. Anybody who wants to be a queen needs to come apply for the job at the castle. So all of the job advertisements went out and in that town, in one of the towns and the villages, there was a man named Mordecai. Can you say Mordecai? That's another big name. There was a man named Mordecai, and he was there because he had been taken captive um, when the king of Judah, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had taken them into captivity. And Mordecai was in charge of taking care of this girl named Hadassah. Do you know anybody named Hadassah? I do. Hadassah also, Hadassah means Esther. I know two people who go by the name of Esther. Esther Garber and Esther Stevenson. Esther didn't have a mom and a dad anymore. Her mom and dad died, so her uncle Mordecai was taking care of her. And she was fair and very beautiful. And Mordecai told her, you know what, Hadassah or Esther, I think you need to go apply for this job, and I think you, need to, you would make a really good queen. You should go apply for that job and be the queen. But... Don't tell them you're a Jew. Just go apply for the job and do your best, but don't tell them that you're a Jew, okay? So Esther went and she applied for the job and they had to do lots and lots of tests. But her uncle Mordecai went and checked on her every single day and she was doing good. He made sure that she was doing good. And um, he went and checked on her every day. And she passed, was passing all of her tests. And she got to meet the king. And got to have an interview. And all of a sudden... The king decided, you know what, that Esther, she's the nicest girl. She passed all of her tests. She's very respectful, and I think she would make a good queen. So King Ashesaurus fell in love with Esther, and he made her the queen. There she is. She's getting her crown. Queen Esther or Queen Hadassah. Yep. Well, after she got made queen, Mordecai one day was sitting in the gates and he heard some people whispering, we're going to go hurt King Ashesaurus. We're going to go get him and we're going to take him away and he's not going to be king anymore. What? That's not right. You can't be mean to the king. He's doing a good job. But they were bad people. So Mordecai went and he told Esther, Hey, Esther, this is what these guys are going to do to the king. You need to go and tell him so that he can stop this and it doesn't happen. And... So Esther went and she told some people, go tell the king that Mordecai heard this and he's going, these guys are going to do something bad. So they went and they told the king what was going to happen and 
the king stopped those bad men from hurting him. And he was so happy that Mordecai saved him. He's like, oh, thank you so much, Mordecai. He says, I appreciate that so very much. So after that, things went on. Esther was a good queen. And there was another guy in the story. His name is Haman. Can you say Haman? Haman was the son of Hamida, and he got put in charge of all of the princes that were with him. And he was in charge of all the king's servants that were sat in front of the king's gate. And they bowed and reverenced Haman, for the king had commanded them to do so. But Mordecai did not bow to Haman. Because Mordecai only bowed to God. That's the only person that you're supposed to worship is God. We don't worship men. We worship God, right? Well, Haman didn't notice that. Or Haman did notice that. He said, why does that Mordecai guy, everybody else bows and praises me. But Mordecai doesn't bow to me. Why doesn't Mordecai bow to me? And Haman did not like that. He did not like that at all. And he was going to hurt Mordecai because he did not like that Mordecai would not bow to him. And he found out why Mordecai would not bow to him. He found out it's because Mordecai was a Jew and the Jews that believed in God. And that's why he would not bow to Haman. So we'll find out the rest of the story tonight for our lesson, okay? We'll see what happens to Mordecai and Haman and see if King, S King Ashesaurus, the dinosaur king, and his queen Esther or Hadassah, Live happily ever after.